Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. We're going to continue with our camera tools video series that we've been doing lately. We can find all our camera tools under View Camera Tools. And we've already gone over several of these. I'll break this menu off and kind of put it over here. So we've gone over the Tumble Tool, the Track Tool, the Dolly Tool, the Zoom Tool, and also the 2D Pan Slash Zoom Tool. And next in our list is the Roll Tool. So lots of links over here on the side. Feel free to check out any of these videos if you haven't seen them yet and if you're interested in any of these tools. So the Roll Tool is what we're looking at today. So I'll look on the options here and I'll close this window. So the Roll Tool is a relatively simple tool. It has one setting which is the Roll Scale. And you'll see my cursor is kind of anchor shaped ish kind of. It's kind of got this curve arrow with a straight arrow in between. And what it does is it rotates our view on its horizontal axis. So if I click and drag, you see I kind of just rotate my view like this. Which this kind of rotation is not really, is not available with the normal camera tools that we have with our shortcut keys. If I go to Alt, left mouse button, we can rotate our, our camera. Alt, middle, we can pan. Alt right, we can zoom, but there's no rotating around the axis like the roll tool does. We can't roll our camera with the rotate tool, rotate camera tool that we have here. We have to go to view camera tools, roll tool, and then actually roll our camera left and right like this. This can be extremely useful if you're simulating, say, an airplane and you're kind of making the airplane bank around a, a turn and you want to kind of show that bank from the camera's ca the, the camera perspective of someone in the cockpit you can use the roll tool like that if you want to kind of just have your camera pass through uh, a maze of different objects you can use the roll tool to kind of bank your camera left and right as you move the camera around the only real setting the roll tool has is roll scale which by default is a value of one you can go higher or lower than that if we go higher then the roll happens a lot quicker with my mouse movement or you can go lower say 0.5 and roll is much slower with my mouse movement and by default is one and that's the roll tool in a nutshell if you do if you know if I roll my scene you know upside down or something or something crazy and let's close this and I want and I just rotate my camera normally you'll see it won't go back to where it was I'm rotating my camera with the alt left mouse button and it's pretty skewed my view is it's kinda of stuck based on having been rolled like it was but I can go to view predefined bookmarks perspective to reset my camera back to the standard perspective starting point if that becomes an issue so yeah I mean that's pretty much it for the roll tool I uh, hope you learned a little bit about that camera tool, and uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. We're going to be done with our camera tools here relatively soon, uh, then I'll be moving on to other topics. I just kind of wanted to complete that list, which I'm doing, I think, uh, pretty well. Um, again, if you have any questions, you like to comment. I'm always interested in your feedback. Thanks again for watching, guys.